All right, let's look at the next two problems on the post lab for the double replacement labs. Okay, the next equation is the reaction between sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. I've written the molecular format here where we have sodium carbonate and HCl. Both of those solutions are aqueous. Whoop, that made it small. Oh well. And so when we put them in the water, we get two sodium ions, a carbonate ion, a proton, a hydrogen ion, and a chloride. Um, so sodium has a plus one charge. It will form a re uh, compound with, with chloride, and that is sodium chloride. And then hydrogen will form a compound with carbonate ion and that is carbonic acid. Now, um, notice I have to balance this because I have two sodiums here, but only one here. So let's put in a two there. And um, I, now I have two chlorides, so I better make it two chlorides over here. So let's go ahead and down here and balance this, and we will be good to go. Okay, so, um, now that we've predicted our products, um, we're get, we can check our solubility. Well, sodium chloride is, sodium is a group one metal, so it is always going to be, uh, all of its ionic compounds are going to be soluble. But let's take a look at the solubility rules for carbonic acid. Okay, so here are the ionic compound rules, and let's go down to the, whoop, acids and aqueous solution rules. Okay. Um, it says all common or inorganic acids are soluble, and the strong acids dissociate completely in solution. Let's look at the strong acids. These are the ones you're supposed to memorize, so let's get going on that. Uh, we have nitric acid, sulfuric acid, perchloric acid, hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, and hydroiodic acid. Notice that carbonic acid is not on that list. So it is an, a weak acid. So what that means is when you put it in water, when, when it is formed, most of it is present as a molecule. In other words, it is not dissociated into hydrogen ions and carbonate ions. And in fact, it actually decomposes. But um, for the purposes of this lab, you don't even have to worry about that. You just know it's a weak acid. So most of it is going to be present as a molecule. So how do we write that? Let's go back to our other window and take a look. Okay, so we're going to write this as aqueous, and then we're going to also write this as aqueous because it's still dissolved in water. But when we go to write the total ionic format, and I'm pointing at the screen here, and you can't see that, obviously. Um, let's go ahead and write out what we've got here. So we've got two sodium ions. And two chloride ions. But now, instead of... Um, two hydrogen ions and a carbonate ion, we really mostly have H2CO3, the molecule. So we no longer have H plus ions floating around. We no longer have carbonate ions floating around. Most of them are in the form of this molecule. And if you read the first page of the lab, you will find out that carbonic acid actually decomposes and into water and carbon dioxide. But we, we don't really care about that right now. Let's just go ahead and write our net ionic. All right. So to do that, we're going to look and see what's the same on both sides. Well, we have two sodium ions swimming around, two sodium ions swimming around, so we can cross those out. We have a carbonate ion free over on this side, but over on this side it's bound up in a molecule, so we have to keep that. Likewise, the two hydrogen ions are free in the reactant side, but in the product side they're bound up in the molecule. 
we do have two free chloride ions here and two free chloride ions here. So we can cross those guys out. All right. So now let's go down here to our net ionic format. And we can just copy and paste. It's much easier. So we've got carbonate ion plus two hydrogen ions. And those react to form, i got to get my arrow in here, react to form carbonic acid. Okay? All right. So this reaction occurs because a weak electrolyte is formed. And it has an overall net ionic equation, so that's what it looks like. All right, next one. We have sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. So we have sodium hydroxide. So we have sodium ions and hydroxide ions. And we have hydrogen ions and chloride ions. Well, the sodium is going to form a compound with this chloride ion. So I guess I was lazy and didn't put these in here. Oops. And if you can remember rule one, you know that that is an aqueous. OK. And then our other product is going to be uh, between water, I mean, between hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. And you can write this as HOH, or you can write it the other way, which is H2O. Sometimes it's easier to see where it comes from if you write it as HOH. I don't really care. But now it's no longer aqueous, it's liquid, because we form liquid water. All right. So let's do, um, well, we didn't form a solid, but we did form a non-electrolyte. In this case, water is a non-electrolyte. Pure water does not conduct electricity because it has no ions, or very, 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 very few ions in it. Um, it's, it's water that contains dissolved salts that'll, that conducts electricity very well. All right, so let's finish up our net ion, I mean our total ionic format. And so we still have sodium ions. Let's get back there. And put a space there. Chloride ions. But now we have H2O. And I'll write it this way this time. Doesn't really matter which way you write it. But that is a liquid. All right. So let's look at our net ionic. We have sodium ions over here, sodium ions over here. Cross those out. We have chloride ions over here and chloride ions over here. So we can cross those out. So our net ionic, comp um, our net ionic equation is hydroxide ion plus hydrogen ion goes to form water. All right. Now, this should be enough information for you to finish the rest of the equations in the post lab and to do the pre-lab assignment. Make sure you read the pre-lab assignment. Um, you don't have to do all this total ionic and net ionic for the, the pre-lab assignment, but you do have to write what the states are for all of the um, species in the reaction. All right, good luck. This is one of the most complicated things you'll do in this class. So if you can do this, you are good to go. Thanks. Bye.